Hey guys, it's me. Alright, so today we're going to talk about a new book that I found at Barnes & Noble. And it's part of the Chemical Garden Trilogy. The book is called Wither. It's really good. Um, it's published by Simon & Schuster. So, the same um, company that does like the Mortal Instruments and such. I, I'm going to read the inside cover to you guys and then we'll talk a little bit about the book. Alright. Thanks to modern science, every newborn has become a ticking genetic time bomb. Males only live to age 25, and females only live to age 20. In this bleak landscape, young girls are kidnapped and forced into polygamous marriages to keep the population from dying out. When 16-year-old Ryan Ellerly is taken by the gatherers to become a bride, she enters a world of wealth and privilege. Despite her husband Lyndon's genuine love for her, and a tenuous trust among her sister wives, Ryan has one purpose, to escape, to find her twin brother, and to go home. But Ryan has more to contend with than losing her freedom. Lyndon's eccentric father is bent on finding an antidote to the genetic virus that is getting closer to taking his son, even if it means collecting corpses in order to test his experiments. With the help of Gabriel, a servant she is growing dangerously attracted to, Ryan attempts to break free in the limited time she has left. So, I actually read that and am dumb and figured after reading it that, oh my god, no, she's totally not going to leave, this is awesome. And then, I mean, she tells you multiple times in the month before you know the whole time essentially that she is going to escape even though a little part of me really hoped that she wouldn't um she does and i don't feel like that's a spoiler because i mean you just heard it it says before she escapes so you know she escapes pretty much a girl named ryan who lives in manhattan and it's you know way in the future and she gets kidnapped to become a bride of somebody, and she gets picked out of all these girls. Um, and the other girls, you kind of learn from, like, the very few pages of the book, if you don't get picked, you get killed, essentially. So she gets picked, and she's really thankful for that. At the same time, she hates it, and she wants to leave, so she goes to Lyndon, who's her new husband. She goes to live with his, um, his family, his dad and him. I don't know, see, I, I have a hard time with this book because I, I feel like the author is trying to make me really like Gabriel, but I think by doing that, I actually like Lyndon a lot more. I don't, this is really hard for me to like accept because I'm the kind of person that when I read like the moral instruments, Simon annoys me. I don't like Simon. I like Jace. I don't like Simon. And, um, let me think. Oh, okay, the vampire, okay, the vampire academy. I don't like Adrian. I like Dimitri. And I feel like in this book, Gabriel is supposed to be like the Dimitri of it. Um, but I don't like him. I like Lyndon. And it's really weird. But yeah, let me know down, down there. Let me know if you guys agree with me because I feel really weird that this has happened and I'm figuring it's probably happened to some other people. I feel like the cover of this book, it's really pretty. That's Ryan. And she goes on and on about her blonde hair. So, or not her necessarily, but the author goes on and on about her blonde hair. So that's a really big point in the book. I'm not going to tell you why yet, because that's from the spoiler section. And so I guess my rating for this book would probably be about, hmm, like a four out of five. Um, and again, I think that's just because I really like Lyndon, and I don't think I'm supposed to, but I do. And... I can't say anything else because I'm afraid I'm going to give away the ending when we'll say that in the spoiler section. Here's the spoiler section. You know, if you've watched my videos before, you know that you are not allowed to watch this section until you've read the book. And if you do watch it, don't get mad. But I'm telling you, essentially, my favorite parts of the book that could be spoilers. Okay, you ready? Okay. So, beginning of the book, we meet Rose. We know Rose, who is Lyndon's wife, or first wife, only wife, whatever, is going to die. And that was really sad to me. I just, I kept thinking that, you know, maybe he is, maybe, you know, House Buster Vaughn is really going to find that anecdote, and it's going to be all chipper and happy, and they're all going to live one big family together. No, no, that didn't happen. So she dies, 
And immediately that night, Lyndon goes into Ryan's room, and I'm like, oh my god, he's going to do her. And then he did it, and I was like, whoa, he's like actually a decent guy. And it kind of made me mad throughout the whole book. She assumed that Lyndon was the one who put together these, like, group of girls that hired the gatherers and all this stuff. If I knew her, or knew him, excuse me, as much as she knew him. But I would just assume from the way that he is that he did not do that. Like, he, I don't think he's capable of that type of stuff, you know, when he was so distraught over... Rose dying, I was just kind of like, I really don't think he did that, especially with his dad being so creepy. I was like, no, his dad totally did this. And then she finally realized it, I was kind of like, duh, you know, it kind of took her the whole book to figure it out. And then, you know, she becomes friends with Jenna, and um, I say her name like um, Sicily, but I don't know if that's right, because it looks like Cecile with a Y. So I just say Sicily, I don't know how else to say it. But the little girl, I was really disgusted when she got pregnant. Like, she's 13. Like, he's 20 years old, and he just knocked up some 13-year-old girl. I don't know. I couldn't get that out of my head. It was really weird to me. Um, it was a lot better once she had the baby and was taking care of it and stuff. And then I was like, okay, it's a little bit better. But still, at the same time, kind of weird. Kind of weird. And then I I totally believe, and I don't know if it's just because I like Linda, but I totally believe that she is, like, completely, like, in love with Lyndon, too. I think she doesn't want to be, and I think that's why she um, runs away or tries to escape so hard, but she catches herself every time falling for him. I'm like, you totally like him, girl. Just admit it. You know you do. So, um, Cicely has the baby, she has Bowen, and he starts to, Lyndon starts to spend time with them a lot more, and um, so it's time with Jenna, because he actually has sex with Jenna, even though Jenna and him, like, don't talk at all, um, which I thought was, like, oh, it's kind of weird, but then I can understand, because, I mean, him's like, hey, if you're going to be stuck there, might as well, you know, even though her and Lyndon never do, um, and I think that only proves how much Lyndon really does like her, because he has sex with the other two girls, but he, I mean, not that he won't, but they just don't, and he still chooses her for everything, to be first in everything, and I'm just like, why would he do that if he didn't really, um, you know, really like her? I don't know. Awkward, awkward moment. So when Jenna and, you know, Lyndon are getting busy in her room or whatever, and Ryan doesn't know that, and she goes over to her bedroom door, and she kind of opens the door, and he's, like, standing up, like, buttoning in his pants, and she can hear them, like, giggling and stuff, and I'm like, this is so awkward. And her reaction just proves that she likes him because she's like, she's like, this is so, like, not only is this awkward, but it kind of makes me, like, angry and jealous. I don't know. I was like, you totally like him. You know you do. I don't know why she just won't admit it. She even tells him that she loves him, but she won't admit it to herself. I don't understand that. Lyndon is the housemaster's son, housemaster Vaughn. That's his dad's name. Um, and he's the doctor. He's kind of crazy. But, uh, he does anything for his son. I mean, like, he's kind of creepishly, like, psycho about it. And, obviously, because he kills Jenna a year before she's supposed to die. And, um, so that's, that was really depressing to me, because even Cicely was just, like, freaking out about it. And they weren't even close. Like, they, I think they got, like, really annoyed with each other. And that was really sad. Um, but then... <sighs> then she makes her escape with Gabriel. I actually thought Gabriel wasn't going to come when she kept yelling for him. And she's like, oh, my God, where is he? There's no one here. And all of a sudden, she hand grasped her wrist. And I was like, and all of a sudden, it's Ryan. And I'm like, oh, crap. It's totally Lyndon. Because Lyndon even said to her, he's like, please don't run away from me. Because he knows that she is at least thinking about it. And she lies to him and says she's not going to. But. I was like, oh, it's totally what I did. And then it wasn't. It was Gabriel. I was kind of disappointed. That's just close. But then they do. They run away together. And the very end of the book, um, they get into a boat and start to paddle away. So I guess we'll see what happens in the next book. Yeah, so that's my review. Let me know what you liked about it. Let me know if you did like it. Um, let me know if you agree with me about Lyndon because I'm kind of freaking out. And I need someone to tell me. If they agree with me or not. Because I feel like a freak. So let me know, guys. Alright? 
Bye.